Okay, so guys, let's step back. We're just gonna get you warmed up. So step back for me. Give yourself some room. Okay, when you're ready, let's go into star jumps on the spot. Let's go. Want to get those heart rates up? Chest swings open up. Okay, so in the warm up, we're gonna practice some of the movements we're gonna be doing tonight. And cross it over. Four, three, two. Down, nice. Okay, we're going to start with your squat patterns first. So we're going to start with just a normal squat, and then we'll practice some of the movements we're going to be doing later in the second half of the workout. All right, stay down for me and hold that position. So obviously tonight we're going to do lots of asymmetric holds. So we're going to practice those asymmetric holds as we go along. Okay, we do a side out squat. So that's one of the moves we're going to do. So you have one foot stays behind, and you go on the same side. Open up. So you open up 180 degrees. the side. So you want to feel those hips opening and I'll see a loads of squat. You're going to feel it nice stretch across the inner thighs. Two. And down. Okay, so you drop lunge forward. So we're going nice and high. Knee comes up. We're going to drop lunge catch and push back. So knee comes up. Drop lunge catch. It's like an exaggerated lunge. Knee comes up, drop and catch, one more. Knee comes up, drop and catch, and from there, curtsy lunges. Hold, curtsy lunge, hold. Two more, curtsy lunge, hold. Curtsy lunge, hold. And down from there, single leg deadlift. So single leg deadlift, get all your weight to one side, you're gonna lock the opposite leg out. And you're slowly gonna hinge back on that one leg. So you do a couple reps on each side. So obviously in this one we have the weights with us. And then you're, for your 20 second hold, you're gonna hold that stretch at the bottom. So we're going to a single leg arabesque. Three, two, one, switch. Other side, so really in that stretch, you can really feel those hamstrings kicking in. Right, so single leg deadlift, remember that leg that's off the floor. We've got to keep it locked out straight. Right, last one, take it down, hold your arrow desk. There, arms come up. Hold it there. Three, two, one. Ah, let's bring it up. Very good. Shake it out. Right, we're going to take a nice load to your squat position. So use the elbows to force your knees up, open up those hips. Alright, transition onto your back. We're gonna go glute bridges. So glute bridge. We're just gonna practice doubles first, get this glutes working. Get them switched on. And then we'll go into a single leg. Alright, hold top position, pulse out. Five. Three, two, one. Cross foot over the top of the knee. Single leg bridge. Two. And switch on the side, cross it over, bridge. And as you're bridging, push that knee down as well, yeah? So push the knee down. Three, two, one, hold that top position, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, switch, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, core activations, your dead bugs. Kick it up. Feet flat to the floor. Watch your arms up top. We're going to practice our chest ball flies. So this is one of the movements we're going to be doing in the workout. So we're going to open up first. Just get the movement going. To so draw the shoulder blades back, stretch through the armpit. Obviously, the range is going to be limited because we're lying on the floor. So we need to make sure we're getting right into that pec minor, so the muscle that leads into the armpit. Right. So for the exercise, we're going to have one holding on top. We're going to do a single arm stretch. So one stays contracted. The other's gonna open up away. Let's practice the other side. The one stays contracted, the other opens away. And then for the 20 seconds, we're gonna open up, we're gonna hold our stretch. But I want you to arch your back, you're gonna squeeze your glutes, 
Feet up, and let's stretch the other arm and stretch as hard as you can. Three, two, one, and down. Nice, get transition onto your front. The hands and knees, it's going to oblige your spine really quick. So let's go with cats and dogs. Breathe in, exhale up. Just working flexion, extension, and spine. Let's add some rotation in. Open up, reach underneath. Nice, big stretch. Your head follows your hands. Very good. All right, scapula push-ups. So I want your arms locked out straight. I'm just gonna drop into your shoulder blades. So get the shoulder blades squeezing together. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go into your hips. So bring your knees together. Knees move away. Nice control. Kick back into the glutes. Circle forward. So we put some rotation in the hip. Other way. And then leg swings. So I want your leg next to you like this. We're going to swing it around. Swing it up. Keep your legs straight. It's like a slingshot. Three, two, and down. Other side. Same sequence. Knee moves away. Kick back. And as we're doing this movement, try and keep those glutes contracted. Circle forward. Circle back. And then leg swings. Back to front. Three, two, one, and down. Get onto our knees, down our knees. We're just going to do some push-ups, so we can isolate the chest. So we're going to track it down slowly, squeeze his hands together, and explode to the top. Slowly down, press three. Slowly down, two. Last one, stay down for me, hold at the bottom. Five, four, squeeze the hands, three, two, one. Just go down with dogs, and so nice and high. Get into the shoulders. All right, hold that top position. Load it up, pike press. Five, three, two, one. Bring it down to plank. Plank rows. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. T spine rotations. Open up. Open up the chest. Two, one. Onto the knees. Right, give me some chest swings. Up, up the chest. Let's so rotate backwards. Then cross it over. Cross the hands over. All the movements coming from the shoulder blades. We go opposite directions. At an angle, other side. Keep putting the shoulder blades back. The movements are coming from my hands. I'm pulling with my scapula. And then. Shoulder rolls forward, keep your shoulder blades squeezed. Shoulder rolls back, keep your scap squeezed. And then we go to scap openers, so elbows to your side, palms facing up, shoulders back. And we're just gonna swing those hands back. But again, the movement's coming from your scaps. Three, two, one, nice tight grip with the hands. Shoulder blades pinched back, lateral raises. Nice. So imagine someone trying to push your elbows down, you're pushing against. Top position, hold it there. Internal, external rotation. Two, one, and then we're going to go to book opens. So it's a nice big pattern with the shoulders. Forward to full range. Three, two, I'm going to finish off with a spin press. Bring your hands together for me. Make it nice and tight. So try to squeeze your hands together as hard as you can. Shoulders back. And from there, you're going to push forward into your chest whilst keeping the hands squeezed together. So keep pushing your hands together. Push up and push into your chest. Let's go. Five, squeeze. Four. Three. Squeeze those hands. Two. And down. Nice. Good to go. Okay. So we're going to start with the upper body push-pull. So remember the format, 
It's gonna be 40 seconds at tempo, 20 seconds isometric hold, okay? Um, and then you get a 30 second recovery. We're gonna do four sets, okay? So the difference with tonight's workout is it's core. Obviously we're working one side of the body, and then obviously we need to do one set each side, okay? So the first one we're going for is your Arnold press. So you're gonna go with the kettlebell or a dumbbell, whatever piece of equipment you have lying around. So make sure you got your stuff ready to go. So we're gonna do this one. So a quick demo, so either on your knees or standing, I like to do things on my knees. So obviously when you're kneeling, there's less compensations going on. So this is your body can't cheat. So you can't use momentum from the legs or anything like that. So it's gonna isolate my shoulders a bit more. Yeah, especially when you're using a lighter weight, you want to try and isolate as much as possible. So on or press, start with your hands or your fingers facing you. You're gonna open up, block your practice, in the warm up. We're gonna swing around slowly there to the top. Yeah? And then your superset is gonna be there upright row and you're gonna hold it okay so if you can you can uh, have a weight that's slightly lighter so you have to regress if you need to uh, and obviously you can always progress the weight as you go along as well if you want to make it a bit heavier okay so always if you can have one or two weights ready to go and we can do it there okay so we've got four sets to go 40 working 20 second isometric hold and then 30 second recovery you ready three Two, one, let's go, Arnold press, single arm, nice control. So in your tempo around in that 40 seconds we're aiming for about 10 to 12 reps. So we don't want to smash out loads of reps, that's not the goal. We want to see control. Squeeze the grip nice and tight. You're halfway, 20 seconds in. Obviously when you're working one side, it's gonna probably give me a fight against the urge to flex laterally. So we need to resist, keep the body mass on the level. Two, one, asymmetric hold, upright row, let's go, hold it there. So pulling back into the rear delt. Elbows higher than your wrist. Give it that. Ten seconds. Ooh. If you need to reset, reset, and you pull again. Three, two, one. And down, very good. Okay, 30 second recovery. Let me take our switch. So never sacrifice weight for technique. So if you're struggling with that resistance, just back off slightly if you need to. Even if you've got body weight instead, yeah? So if you need to, just go body weight holding there, but squeeze that grip, nice tight grip if you need to, okay? Body weight's all good, as long as you have the intention there. Okay, ready, five, grip it nice and tight. Four, keep it nice and level. When you hear the beat, let's go. Second set. Breathe in and exhale up. Nice control down. So think about the movement coming from the shoulder blade, not the hand. Think about the movement coming from the shoulder blade. So you're pulling back from the shoulder. You're controlling down. Controlling down with the lat. The bicep. Controlling in to the front of the chest. Open up, very good. We're halfway. So pull back from the scapula. 20 seconds. And down, let's go asymmetric hold. Pull. Let's go, squeeze it there. Keep it there, keep it there. Draw right back into that rear delt. Five. Four. Elbows up, elbows up. Three. Two. One, and down, nice. All right, that's one set each side. We take our switch. Other side, get ready. So this is the last set on the side you started on. Okay, if you want to progress the weight you can. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe in, exhale up. Breathe in. I'm halfway, come on. Remember the movement's coming from the shoulder blade. Open the shoulder blade, take it through the full range. 
Very good. We got five seconds before we hold. Three, two, one. Down, isometric hold, upright row, pull. Draw back, come on. Keep it high. Looking good, come on, give me five seconds. Four. Keep it there. Three, two, one, and down. Very good. Excellent. Other side, we take a switch. Last set. We're going to move on to back. Seconds. Okay, ready? Load it up. We're back in four, three, two, one. From this control blade. Let's go. Mass control. Full range. Halfway guys. Give me that 10 seconds, come on, 10 seconds of work. Get ready. Last rep, control down, into upright rope. Let's go, asymmetric hold, pull. Keep it level. There, keep it there. Five, come on. Four, elbows up, pull from the shoulder. Three, two, one, and down. Very good. Okay, transition. Iso row holds. Okay, also hold throat. So you need two kettlebells for this one or two dumbbells. If you don't have two, you can use body weight. So we're always going to get a hinge back. We're going to pull double, and then one stays there the whole time. Okay, so one's always holding, while the other goes. Again, here, one kettlebell. You're gonna draw your hand back, the opposite hand. So we're gonna squeeze that first time. And we're gonna do a single arm row there. Okay? Ready? So arm unloaded or unloaded. Let's go. So hitch back. One side, one side. And then our superset, this one's gonna be a butterfly hold. So butterfly back extension. 20 seconds, keep the other side squeezed, other body weight or loaded. Get in and load with the slightly heavy weight if you want to, or row the heavy weight, use the lighter weight to load the squeeze. Three, two, one, onto your stomach, fly, fly, hold, so lying down, palms facing up, palms facing down, squeeze, hold it there, hold it there. Squeeze your glutes, keep your shoulders back. Oh, yeah. And down, nice. Very good. So with that butterfly hold, imagine I'm lying on the stomach. So if we start your palms facing up, as you rotate back, your palms face down to the floor. You're extended, squeezing the glutes. You're gonna know, retract your shoulder blades as hard as you can. Okay, second set. So again, we're gonna hinge back, one side's loaded, other side's pulling, yeah? So it's either body weight loaded, or you can use the heavier side to row, if you have a heavier kettlebell. Let's go, hinge back, and use the lighter one to hold. Nice, come on, keep your shoulder blades squeezed. So you need to hold that retraction on the one side. Very good. Give me 10 seconds of work, come on. Pull the hand towards the hip. Wrap your elbow around your spine. Three, two, and down. Butterfly back extensions drop on your stomach. Look up, rotate, squeeze. Squeeze your glutes. Hold it there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep it there. And 
hand down. Nice, recover. Very good. Very good, keep it there. Excellent, well done. Good job. All right, deep breaths for me, 10 seconds. All right, same reps, other side. So we're loading that same side you started on. Second set, so one side's retracted. Other side we're going, so hinge back. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Very good, come on. Give your shoulder blade a squeeze, we've got 20 seconds. Squeeze. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze as hard as you can. Keep it there. And down, very good. Woo. Okay, so one more set at the side. One more set on the other side. Looking good guys, looking good. Excellent work. Deep breaths. Okay, same set. Remember we can load it. We can unload the other hand to squeeze it, yeah? Always right one side. Right, hinge back for me. Retract both. One side stays back. The other side's loading. Excellent, come on. Come on, keep that squeeze. Give me 10 seconds of work. Four, three, two, and drop on your stomach. Butterfly extensions. Head down, let's go. Palms up, retract, palms down, squeeze. Squeeze your glutes. You're looking straight down to the floor. Retract the shoulders back. Squeeze your grip tight, tight, tight. Now hold it. Your shoulders should be on fire. Nice. Very good. Count your back for me. Iso floor flies. Okay? So this one, if you have two weights, you can use two. If you don't, just using one. Our 20 seconds hold will be that stretch at the bottom, yeah? So lying flat on your back. So when you have flyers, both go to the top, only one side goes down, yeah? If you don't have a weight, just your body weight hand up, we're gonna fly one side. So keep the one side retracted, contract that pec, take it nice and wide away from the hand. Allow it to stretch into the armpit, squeeze. And then for that 20 seconds, we do a double stretch on both, yeah? So one side is hand squeeze, the other side is flying away. Eight seconds. Another stretch, squeeze. And double stretch, let's go. Open up, 20 seconds. Open up, open up. Long stretch into the armpit. Keep it there. Kettlebell or dumbbell, you're going to take one side contracted with the hand, so that side says squeeze, and then the weighted side is going to drop away, okay? And obviously we take a double stretch on the fly. Okay, other side now. So the other arm is going to stay stretched, or stay squeezed, obviously the hand moves away. Let's 
got fly position. When you're doing your flies, try to keep your hands quite high, so it's almost in line with your eyes. Nice control, so you're moving the bicep away from your chest. Think about that, 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 that. Bicep moves away, and then you bring your bicep back in, and you contract and squeeze into that really squeezed pec. So the hands stay behind, the pecs better stay contracted the whole time. It's not just chilling there, it's working. Like a nice tight grip, squeeze the hand. Activation always starts in the hands. And let's go, open up, double stretch. Keep it there. Nice, come on. 10 seconds. Take it into the armpit. Three, and always finish at the top. Three, finish on the, on the contraction. Let's go, squeeze the top. And down, nice. Good job. All right, there's two down, two more. Remain way finish on the contraction at the top, yeah? All right, rest in there, rest in there. Doing good, guys, doing good. 10 seconds, get back in. Get ready, load it up. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Also, if you have one heavier weight and one lighter weight, take the heavier weight into the contraction, then use the lighter weight to fly away. Come on, we've got 15 seconds. Last control, aim for those 10 to 12 reps. You should be counting your reps. We're doing the last one now, last rep, and we're going to double fly, open up, pull the stretch. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, come on, five, 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 four, three, two, one, squeeze the top, and down, uh, nice. All right, the last one. Last one on the side, looking good. Deep breaths. Can be back in five seconds. Get ready. All right, load them up to the top. Last one. Okay, one side's contracted. Let's go. Fly away. Draw the shoulder blades back into the floor. Keep them squeezed. Keep those gaps retracted. Looking good. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. The last three reps. Come on. Last one. Double fly, open up, stretch, 20 seconds. Keep it there, come on. 10 seconds, come on. Stretch. Four, three, two, one, and down. Finish the contraction. Nice, very good. Okay, biceps. We've got bicep curls. Okay, so uh, 40 seconds bicep curls, kettlebells or dumbbells, and then we're gonna do an asymmetric lateral raise hold. Okay? So if you have opportunity to regress the weight you can, if you don't, you're just gonna do these body weight shoulder rolls, yeah? Okay, three, two, one, let's go bicep curls, squeeze those biceps. If you only have one weight option, Push the elbows away from you. So we change the angle. That's gonna make it a little lot harder. Make sure we go all the way down. So fully extend the arm. So you stretch the bicep and then contract the top. Push away. Squeeze. Nice. Keep tension on the arm all the time. Tension on the bicep. 
If you want to make it harder, squeeze your hands together at the same time. Keep squeezing your hands as you feel. Three, two, one. Lateral raise hold. So you're going to go there, body weight. If you're body weight, you're doing there. If you've got weights, you're going there. Come on, you're going to hold it. You need the band, you take the band. Keep it there. Draw the shoulder blades back, feet the shoulder blades back. And down, uh, nice. So there's lateral raises. You can either go body weight, circles. So you've got to keep shoulder blades retracted though. If you've got a band, you can use your band, hold it there. If you've got your dumbbells, hold it there. Shoulder blades have to stay retracted. So make sure we're lifting from the medial belt, from that part of your arms, not from your hands, not from the elbows, from the shoulder. You can only do that if you retract the shoulder blades. Okay, biceps, we're back in. Ready, let's go. Squeeze the biceps, slowly push it down. This is our last step in the biceps. And then we've got triceps. Squeeze, push away. 20. Squeeze those hands together. As much tension as possible. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, lateral hold, body weight, all loaded, let's go. Keep it there. If you're doing the body weight option, do your shoulder rolls. Band option, take the band, stretch into a nice big triangle, shoulder weights back, squeezing. Three, two, one, and down. Very good, again, triceps. We've got tricep kickbacks. So you're going extensions behind the head with the kettlebell there. Or you can do a double tick back with the dumbbells. So you go double tick backs there. Okay, we're going to superset with a front raise hold. Okay, again, body weight. Body weight we do there. Hold that squeeze. Bands you go there, dumbbells you go there. Okay, are you ready? Extensions. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze the top. Again, squeeze those hands together. We've got 40 seconds in this one. And then a 20 second front raise hold. Come on, 10 seconds. So body weight option will be a swing press hold. Or you can use your kettlebell or your dumbbell. Two, one, let's go, front raise, to the top, squeeze. Squeeze those hands together. 10 seconds. On, five, four, three, two, one, and down, very good. Woo. Right, one more set. So we've got kickbacks or extensions. So you got the kickback with your dumbbells. If you've got a dumbbell option, if you've got the kettlebell option, go extensions. 10 seconds we go again. This is your last set in this one, last set for this round, upper body. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go load it up on the head, stretch. So we're controlling that, we're stretching that tricep, squeeze your bicep to the bottom, and then shorten that tricep head to the, the top. Very good. 20 seconds, slow control on the stretch. Good guys, come on. Give me 10 seconds, so we've got your front raise hold. Three, two, one, let's go. Front raise, hold, up, squeeze. Squeeze your hands. Lock it in. 10 seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, 
one and down. Excellent, well done. Okay, get some water. You got a minute recovery. We got leg work. So all the leg work we practiced already in our warm up. So while you're resting, I'm gonna read them out quick. So you got your side out squats with your side out ass or hold, okay? Forward drop lunges with the curtsy hold on the other side. Then you got your single leg leg extension or leg, uh, single leg deadlifts into your arabesque hold, have you practiced? Uh, we've got single leg wall squats with your glute hold, single leg. Also, I'm going to practice on the floor. And then you've got hat squats it's to be set up with your calf raise, asymmetric calf raise. Okay? Alright, get some water. Alright, get your weights ready. So, we're going side out squats to start, yeah? The ones we practiced in the beginning. So you can either take a goblet hold, so hold the top, or you can hold it um, as like a sumo squat hold between the legs. So I get deadlift grip, yeah? So you either got a deadlift grip, or we got a goblet hold. Whatever you, whatever you find best. Okay, you ready? So remember this one. So we're gonna start with both feet facing the same way. We're gonna open up to 180 degrees, and then we're gonna load that squat there, okay? So it's like a really sturdy rotating um, squat. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. Side out, same side each time. Same side each time. So take note of the side you start. When we come back to this, we're gonna switch sides. So we've got four sets to get through. Two sets on each side. Very good. Come on, 15 seconds. Excellent, come on. Let's go one more, let me hold down the bottom. Last one, open up. Down and hold. 20 seconds, draw the shoulder blades back. So don't want to see the chest collapsing down. Chest stays up, nice and high. Squeeze shoulder blades back. Squeeze grip tight. Keep those feet pointing out. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nice. Woo. All right, 30 seconds rest. We're going to the other side now, yeah? Excellent work. All right, so there's no speed in this one. It's mass control. Don't, so I don't care about how fast you do it. I'm going to see control. So you're going to open up, make sure you balance. It'll be quite unstable this movement. And you're gonna load that squat, nice and slow. All right, three, two, one, other side. So side out, open up. Once you stabilize, then you load. Only once you find your balance point, then you load it. Very good. Don't load instability. Nice, right, tight with the hands, pull the shoulders back. Keep the chest nice and high. Breathe in before you go down. Breathe in, and it's what? Good job, come on, give me 10 seconds. Excellent work. Four, three, two, and hold. Bottom. Keep it there, push those knees out. 10 seconds. Very good, come on. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and back. Excellent, okay, if you can, I want you to progress the weight. So let's get a bit heavier, if you can. If you can progress, get a bit heavier. If you can't, keep it where it is. All right, 10 seconds, check your legs out. Alright, so we're back to where we started, yeah? Second so set on that side. Alright, let's go. Shoulders back. Side up, let's go. Step, balance, low. Breathe in. Exhale on the way up. Very good, come on. Breathe in before we go down. 
Hãy sửa nói ạ Từ hoa khuê Give me 10 seconds, come on. Give me 5, 4, 3, 2, and let's go. Open up. Hold the load down the bottom. Come on, 10 seconds. Grip with the big toes. 3, 2, one and back. Very good. 30 seconds rest. Well done. Deep breath, deep breath. Shake his legs out. Fifteen seconds. Okay, so we're really for the inner thighs working big time. Which is what we want, yeah? Okay, we're back in five. Pick it up, feet together, shoulders back. Grip it nice and tight, side out. Let's go. Excellent, come on. Top. Eight seconds of work. Last one, open up and take it down. 20 second hold. As low as you can go, come on. Sit right those hips. 10 seconds. Keep the shoulders back. Chest up. Sit into the hips. Two, one. Down, nice, very good. Okay, forward lunges, drop lunge. So this one loaded. Get a nice starting weight. Again, always go for control and stability over that resistance. So we go forward nice and high. Step, we're gonna catch a load, okay? So don't wanna see any sort of instability. You always control balance. So when you come up, you balance first. When you lunge, you balance at the bottom. Ready, three, two, one. We're working one side only. Step, control, and push back. So there, stabilize, only once you balance, then you go. Step, control, once you find your balance, push back. Nice and high, drop, control. Very good. Control, squeeze, drop, control, nice. So as I'm coming up, I'm squeezing this quad that's on the floor, drawing the abs in, everything's bracing. Brace, drop, control, very good. One more, brace, drop, control. Okay, curtsy lunge, this leg, behind you, hold it. Hold it, on your hips facing forward. 10 seconds. So the leg we were working, the leg we are lunging on, is now behind us. So loading this glute now. Holding that stretch on that glute. Three, two, and back, very good. Whew. Okay, so now getting opposite leg, same thing. Stabilizing, lunging, stabilizing. Push it back. And then we've got 20 seconds. Curtsy hold. On that same working leg, yeah? Okay, 10 seconds, ready? Make sure we got enough room. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Knee tracks up, balance. Control, balance, push back. I want the knee nice and low to the floor. Control, we're going for depth, down, control. Very good. Control, step, control. So then come on, control it, boom. Step, lunge, very good. Keep the shoulders nice and level as I watch the shoulders. Make sure everything's nice and level. One more rep. Let me drop into our cursed lunge. Bring it up, cursed lunge, 20 seconds, rope. Load that glute now, this glute's loading. As low as you can. Again, shoulders level, don't wanna see you dropping. Don't compensate for the weight. 
Everything's level. Resist. Brace the abs. Keep it tight. Three, two, one, and back. Very good. 30 second breather. Whew. Legs are working hard. Alright, same drill. If you can, progress the weight you can. If it's too heavy and you're finding you're unstable, regress the weight, even if it's body weight. Okay? Rather have stability and you're doing proper technique than struggling with resistance you can't control. Okay, ready? Back to where we started. Just go nice and high. Drop. Whoa, it's nice. So I'm going to see it's dead stop at the bottom, yeah? Control. Dead stop, bottom. Hold. Step. Dead stop, bottom. Nice. Bring it up nice and high. I'm going to try to get your knee in line with the hip. Dead stop, bottom. Hold. Very good. Come on, eight seconds. Come on, one more rep, one more rep. To the top. Throw. Back. Let's go, glute lunge hold. Take that right leg behind you. Hold the working leg behind you. 10 seconds low. Make sure your hips are facing forward. Don't rotate out of it. Keeping both hips facing towards the front. Three, two, one. And down. Very good. On that curtsy lunge, be careful. It's very easy to lunge there. And then all of a sudden you're rotating out. So you just take all the loop off, take all the load off the glute by doing that. So you need to make sure your hips are facing forward. So get that maximum stretch on that glute. Okay? Any rotation away from that is gonna take all the load off it. So just be aware of that. Ready? Last set. Other side, let's go. On the right, up, control, drop, control. Very good. Breathe in, drop. Excellent. Keep going. I want to see dead stop, I want to see control. Make sure the knee's tracking out towards your small toe. Don't let the knee collapse in towards your big toe. Very good, come on. Nice and high. Drop into it. Breathe in. Let's go forward, drop, boom. And let's go and load the glute. Keep facing forward, 20 seconds. Everything's level. Don't compensate for the weight. Draw the abs in tight, brace your abs. 10 seconds, squeeze. Drop lower. Three, two, one, and nice. Ooh. Okay, single leg deadlift. So there, load to one side. We're going single leg deadlift. And you're gonna hold the arabesque stretch for 20 seconds. So the arabesque stretch, it can be a body weight hold there, or you can just keep the weight in your hand. So we're gonna hold that stretch for that 20 seconds there. Okay, so the best way to start to one, get all the way to one side, lock that leg out straight. It doesn't bend at all. Ready? Let's go. So transition to the weight, lock your leg out, slowly control into it. This one's not about speed. Very good. 20 seconds. Get that leg locked out. If you need to, you can have a chair next to you or something next to you to help you balance. Oh, the stretch is going to burn. Three, two, one. Hold the arabesque. Hold it there. Body weight. Unload it. Get the leg locked out straight. Pull that tone towards you. Side, same drill. Working the other side now, yeah? So remember to start transitioning your weight to one side, lock the opposite leg out. You've got to keep it locked out. 
the legs doing their legs floppy, you're all over the place, yeah? Keep it locked down straight. Load it up, transition weight, opposite legs locked out, we control down. You might find that one side's harder than the other, you might be stronger one side. It's not a problem, just concentrate what you're doing. Good. Ten seconds. Okay, ready? Air basque. Let's go and hold it. You can see on my side, my left side's a lot weaker. You need to find that balance point you can. Five seconds. And down. Very good. It's quite a challenging exercise, that one. Are you going to feel those glutes and hamstrings tomorrow? Okay, ready? 10 seconds. We're back to where we started. You should have the hand by now. Alright, get your sit up ready. Transition your weight into your working side. Opposite ends locked down. Let's go. Nice, slow control. Keep your shoulders nice and level. Try not to compensate. Squeeze your top. Squeeze in. Oh. Squeeze it in. We've got 10 seconds before we arabesque. Arabesque, let's go drop. Hold it. Your back leg, kind of squeeze it, lock it out straight. Squeeze that glute. Seconds, we're back in left side or the other side. Which side you started on? Okay, we're back in five, four, three. Transition weight, the working leg, other legs locked out. Let's go kick back. Nice, slow control. Opposite hand, squeeze that fist tight. Fifteen seconds. Hold against the wall. Find a wall for me. If you can't find a wall, you're just going to do an air squat like that, holding there. Okay? So, wall squat, we're against the wall. Back foot against the wall, cross foot over the top of your knee. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop, cross it over. Push that knee down. Keep it there. So you've got to be at 90 degrees. Palms up, head back. You're pushing yourself back into that wall with that one leg. It's a 40 second hold on there. If you don't have a wall, obviously you do your air squat in this position. Okay, 
Give me 10 seconds, come on. Drop the heel back. So I'm on my right side. So we transition to the floor now. I'm gonna load this right leg in that new position. Okay, transition to the floor. Let's go, lock it up, squeeze. So I'm loading my right glute. Lock it in. Hold the top, hold the top position. Same leg, same working leg. Hold that top position, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and down. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna superset this one with half squats. So half squat with a calf raise hold. So half squat on a nice V stance. So your feet are gonna be out like this. As we go down, we go calves come up off the floor, okay? I want you to really try and drive your knees up your toes. Load this with your heaviest weight that you have. And then your isometric holds give you a calf raise hold. Ready? Three, two, one. Slowly control down. Drive those knees up your toes. So it's almost like a bit of a, like a plie type movement. This is why ballerinas are so strong. Oh, squeeze. We got 40 seconds, this one. Keep the shoulders back, get nice and low. Remember, legs take you down. Try and get the hamstrings to touch the calves. Squeeze your top. Five, four, three, two, weights down. Squat stance, calf raise up, squeeze. Get those heels up. Squeeze those calves. Ooh. 10 seconds. Keep it there. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, single leg air bench again, other side this time. So low the opposite leg. This is your last sense one. Again, when we transition to the floor, you're loading the 10 leg in the glute stretch, the glute hold, okay? Make sure you've got enough room, clear yourself some space. For your transition. Get ready, so find a wall. If you don't have a wall, you're gonna do that air squat like that. It's gonna hold that position. Like that, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, air bench. 40 seconds. Make sure you got the right leg. Halfway. Drive yourself back in the wall, right into that wall. Ten seconds. We transition glute bridge on that same working leg. Three, two, one on your backs. Same working leg, bridge hold, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight seconds, hold it there, come on. Drive that knee down. Two, one, and down. Woo, okay, we made it, last set. We ready. So we got our hack squats with our calf raises. Progress it, once you use your heaviest weight that you have available. Okay, so remember that, so that plie movement. So drive his knees, I want your knees up your toes. So get this stretch in the quads. Ready, legs take you down, shoulders back. Let's go, we're going down, up, squeeze the top, boom. Breathe in, load the legs, squeeze. Breathe in, load it, up, boom. Excellent, come on. Squeeze the top, come on, this is the last minute of work. We're halfway through the set. We've got a 20 second calf raise hold. 10 seconds guys, come on. Keep going, keep going, squeeze those quads. Legs take you down. Three, two, one. Drop into your calf raise hold. Low, up, let's go squeeze. Squeeze those calves. So you're driving the big toes down to the floor. Come on, squeeze the calf right to the top. Have your weight ready for balance if you need it. 
Ooh, legs are going. Three, two, one, and down. Ooh. Awesome work, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Great stuff. Well done.